Alvin Jan Willem. First of all, I want to thank you for giving the opportunity to us and to me to be a voice to so many nations. I believe God is going to bless you for it. Thank you. For the Bible says very clearly that if we bless the seed of Abraham, he will be blessing us. But the Bible also says in Isaiah 60 verse 12, the nation that shall not serve you, Israel, shall perish. And I feel I've come to America that has bailed out Europe from the Nazis and made South Korea through the Marines that died for it, one of the most Christian nations in the world because of you standing up for their freedom, that we have come to a crucial moment in our history. This is the year of your election, and I pleaded with God to give an Esther-like president in the White House so that God will give a respite to America because of it. And the words that came to me as he was talking is what Mordecai, and I feel like a spirit of Mordecai upon me, to churches and to individuals and wherever you are, what goes for America goes for every nation that you are part of. But I feel that we all should assemble and pray for America that has been the channel of evangelism through Billy Graham, Oral Roberts, Lauren Cunningham, George Ferber, all over the world and the many missionaries, that God's word to you is, like Mordecai said to Esther, if you keep silent now, at this moment that Israel is surrounded by the Hezbollah, by Hamas, by the nerve gas cut missiles from Syria, by Iran that is needing only some more months to have the nuclear weapon to finish what Hitler has left. The Lord is speaking to you as individuals, as churches, but especially as a nation. Not jobs, jobs, jobs as we hear the whole time in the economy. But God says the existence of America is on the table. And the only way we can lengthen it is to do what Mordecai said to Esther. If you keep quiet now, God will have his way with Israel. But you and your family and your nation will perish. And my heart cry has been for months, every day. God, you used America to bail us. I'm a European out. You brought Billy Graham that led me to Jesus when I was a boy of 13. Again, America. America is faltering. And unless we speak not on jobs and economy only, but on the only thing that can give us a respite, and that is that we all go on our knees and wait on our knees till God has heard our voice and show us what we can do. And I know one of the things that I know God wants us all to do is to come to the Feast of Tabernacles, to be physically there. And I was so blessed by Kim that he was humble enough to say, I'm going because I feel God wants us to be physically there to tell Israel, you are not alone. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. You know, your, pa your passion and, and your enthusiasm is contagious. Really it is.